Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the O2 Hurricane canless air system. I'm going to start this video out a little different. I'm going to start it out with the product that this is replacing. That is your, your canned air, your normal canned air. You usually get these things, they're usually not cheap. And uh, they don't last very long. And uh, let's just tear off tab. <laughs> tear off the tab. And you usually uh, stick a straw in there and you squirt things. Now this is a brand new can. And some of the things that's kind of irritating about these cans is if you're you're spraying things and you start and you're having to get around and you start going upside down it does this uh thing where it it f makes things frozen which is bad and i think i just got some on my face which ain't too good um other things is that it, it this is actually pretty powerful when you do the the short squirts but when you're like really trying to get it to a large piece of equipment or maybe uh window blinds or things like that after about six seconds it really starts dying down and i'm going to go ahead and and just demonstrate that i don't know if you can hear it but it's actually sort of uh sort of dying actually You can hear it sort of just easing, 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 easing because it's sort of it's really getting cold, and as that uh, gets colder, it, it doesn't have as much pressure inside to push the gases out. And that's the other weird thing about this. I used to think this stuff was safe. I'd go around the office, sneak behind somebody, go. <laughs> Next thing I know, actually, and this is really weird. Um, like a week ago. Someone gave me like six cans of these, says we can't have these at work anymore. And I'm like, why? And they're like, they're hazardous. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Here we go again. <laughs> you know, through my entire Navy career, things I, I use all of a sudden are hazardous. <laughs> and here's another thing. So this is not just Navy. This is consumer market. Um, look at all this red. Everything listed here. Um, this stuff kills people, actually. People in inhale this because they displace oxygen to get some sort of high or something. And that's why now they're making it taste bitter. Um, do not shake. Do not do this. Do not do that. It is uh, all over these cans. And I didn't know this, but you can't even use this on a shredder, a paper shredder. It says do not use. So I guess there's a, a lot of issues with this. Do not shake. Do not tilt. Potential of ignition source, do not spray on uh, paper shredders and, and garbage, do not, it says never use on camera mirrors, because um, I, I actually do spray my cameras with that, huh, um, avoid contact with skin, well that's messed up because I've done that freezing thing on my head myself, okay, I do all the things you're not supposed to do on this cat, and um, it's, it's bad for you, obviously. So, somebody came up with this, okay? Something that is cordless, which I like. See, this is cordless, this is cordless. It is the same size. It's ergonomically the same size, same shape. Um, so, it feels the same. Now, let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and take a close look. Now, Canlis Air was nice enough to send me this version. It has all this stuff. It has the extra accessory kit right here. So it has a brush and a, a tube and a really small little hold tube to get uh, some into some really tight spaces. Um, they all come with two of these tubes. And you get the unit itself. This one is red. They have other ones that are blue and black. And you get the charger. Um, what you want to do when you get this is to charge it. And actually, it, it was working out of the box, but um, I recommend you charge it. You just sort of plug that in there, and then you just uh, plug it into your outlet, and the light will turn red. And when it's all charged up, the, the light on the charger will turn green. 
real simple. Now, this unit, um, one charge takes, uh, you know, from when it's completely dead, takes uh, four to six hours to charge up. Once it's charged up, it will blow as much as four of these cans. That's how much this will blow. It blows um, continuously for 15 minutes. Now, unlike these cans, these cans will blow really, really hard for eight, you know, from six to eight seconds and then start diminishing. Now, this will not blow as hard as this can can blow for that first six seconds. But after that, this will blow harder than this can of air. So the, the big thing is that this blows really hard for a short amount of time. This blows pretty freaking hard um, continuously for 15 minutes on a single charge, which again takes four to six hours then to charge back up. Um, really simple unit, and all, all of them are made basically the same. You have a um, impeller in, an, in a housing up here that's forcing air out this hole and that's attached to a motor that's spinning that impeller which is you know a type of fan and then to power that motor there's a battery in here a big battery that you charge up right with that hole right there and you have your trigger right here and all you do is just like with a can of air well you just pull the trigger same thing here you pull the trigger now one obvious difference is this sucker is loud it, it's like a mini vacuum cleaner it is super duper duper loud it is pumping air out of that hole at over 200 miles an hour um, it might be between 200 and 220 depending on the model depending on what accessories you you put on there it's going to restrict or allow all air to flow out so lots of variables and I'm sure I'm sure as, as most batteries are it's not like a continuous uh, flow through the whole life of the battery so you know all those things aside, it's blowing out there 200 plus miles per hour so in the lifetime of this unit you could expect to probably uh, would have had to buy about I don't know a thousand cans of these and the can of the cans of air are pretty expensive um, again, three, four, five dollars. Uh, I bought a pack of three of these, and it was twelve bucks. So these are not cheap, and I think that's considered a good deal. I think I'd rather have this laying around the house. And also, this is bad for the environment. All of these are ending. You know, all these cans are ending in the dump after everything is said and done. And also, my cat loves to steal these things, and then I I never find them again. <laughs> but um. Wow, there there are hundreds of uses for this thing, more than you would want to use canned air for also, because um, the inventor of this um, didn't start out inventing it as a, a replacement for canned air. What he wanted to do was to uh, just make something to replace a bellows to start a fire. And instead, you know, came up with like a blower to, um, you know, I guess a cordless blower to just sort of get the fire going. And guess what? You could do that with this. That's one of the hundreds of uses that you could use this for. You do not want to use this to start a fire. It, it can start a bigger fire. You might only do that once in your life. Um, and then you will learn <laughs> if you survive. Um, but this, you know, you can start fires with it. You could blow off dashboards, plants, vents, blinds, you know, do, you know, starting fires, cleaning uh, filters on your, off your furnace is pretty cool, you know, or uh, filters off computers, which is something that I have done with this already. You can dust off your knickknacks and shelves and all that good stuff. Um, also, being an IT person, again, filters for computers and cleaning computers. Let me tell you, if you have a computer on the floor, it is going to just accumulate dirt <laughs> like no tomorrow especially you know depending on the environment as a matter of fact uh, in the lab that I work in um, for some reason it is extremely dusty and, and we have good filters and everything but this thing um, will definitely clear the dust and dirt out of a uh, computer in a matter of seconds unbelievable 
and it's nice not to be um, tethered by a cord because I know there are other units out there that um, will blow and they have a cord and what I have to do is either move the computer to cords length to where the um, outlet is or um, in the case of doing filters I have to bring take all the filters out and move them in one place where I could plug it in. This thing I could do everything in place just blow it and not have to worry about um, being tethered to an outlet so I really like that weight you know it's about um, 18 ounces the height is almost 8 inches which is again the equivalent you know of the can there actually it's a little shorter than this particular one these things got a bit of variety of, of um, heights so they've they've got it down pretty good so again I'm free to blow this at people and not feel guilty about killing them or asphyxiating them with chemicals. <laughs> I, I am so sorry for all the people that I have sprayed Candare at. No, it was bad. Um, I love this thing. Um, there's all different versions. You can find them anywhere between $89 and $149 approximately, depending on the model that you get. There's different models. Um, one model that um, stands out is they have an, uh, an ESD, electrostatic uh, discharge model, that's uh, safe to work in environments where electrostatic discharge is really uh, important. Um, that used to be important in the days when uh, you had a uh, uh, memory, so, you know, back in the old days, memory was really, really touchy, and you had to be really careful and wear the straps and all that stuff. You know, these days, I, memory, I, I handle memory in my hand and throw it down, and it, it doesn't really matter, or at least uh, not in my experience. As a matter of fact, I, I actually got memory into a computer, whoops, into a computer slot backwards somehow, don't ask me how. And it blew the motherboard out and the memory was still good, so figure that. Um, so anyway, I love this thing. I um, have already been using the crap out of this. I love it. And uh, there's so many uses for it. And I'm, I'm already using you know, all, my, all, all my keyboards and cleaning out my computers. And, you know, because I'm a computer geek. And uh, I love it. Um, by the way, I, I found that you really don't need these tips. Um, you know, if you got to get into a tight spot, yes, but you, uh, for most cases, I would leave it off, and this will blow whatever you need to blow, just like this. The less things you have in there, um, the less restriction of, of air. Just let it flow out with the least amount of resistance, um, so you can hit what you need to. But again, if you really need to get in those tight places, um, you got the accessory kit. You could get separately for like ten bucks. Um, or um, this particular special edition model comes with the accessory kit and a uh, lifetime warranty. And you can put this little tiny tip on there again to tight places. Or if you're doing a keyboard, you could use the little brushy thing. Put that brush on there. Get on there. I'll get the brush on there, I promise. There we go. It has to be tight, obviously. If you have air coming out at 200, like 20 miles an hour, you want these things to be tight because you don't want to create a inadvertent projectile and hit somebody in the head. Let's uh, test it out. Okay. okay, see, you could even, the 101st uh, use of this is to clean your beard out because I just had dinner. <laughs> Okay, highly recommended. I'm going to go ahead and provide the links below and um, get it. Canless Air System, the O2 Hurricane. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you, and I hope you have a great evening. Take care.